Return to Monkey Island is the name of the game. And we are at the bench again. Let's get a little bit reminding what we are doing here. Kind of, but remind me a little. Okay. I had joined LeChuck's crew in disguise. The magic potion that would have taken us to Monkey Island had been ruined. But Captain Madison and her cronies were nearby in another ship, also bound for the island. We planned to follow Captain Madison's ship instead, but I still needed one thing. LeChuck's map to the secret. I would have to steal it. Okay. Seem like we are stealing the map now. <laughs> okay. What we are doing here, they are happy here. And let's shock. I have to go downstairs. Shouldn't ye be swabbing? Let's talk with him. What do you want, Swabby? The voodoo potion spell thingamajig is coming along great. Nothing to worry about. Then, why are you bothering me about it? Now get out of here so I can think! Because I want your map. We need the map. I want this map. Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby! Can we give him something? Can Murray go to hide here? No. Nope. We can't do with the chicken food anything to want to eat. No. Take more. Ha! Huh. Said Murray to Captain Madison. We go to the cannon now. Murray, I have a job for you. Looks like it's empty. Oh, perfect. Same thing. You go there. Have a good okay, trip. Okay, Murray. I just need one more thing from you. I hope you're not allergic to gunpowder. Of course I'm not. Hey, what are you doing? These things are dangerous. <laughs> Ready for cannon firing. I better get my hands on the Chuck's map first. What? Hmm. Almost. We almost get it. <laughs> One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the Chuck shouting. That time again already? Well, let's get to it. Come to order, you murdering, traitorous dogs! Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered a mystical voodoo potion! If a ship is going to function properly, blah 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 blah! Blah blah blah! blah you wanna die! Blah blah! Blah blah! Keel hole! Blah blah! Walk the plank! Blah blah blah! <laughs> Now we can do it. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on Hope it, I do. but clearly it's important. Uh, this isn't remotely like a map. He'd notice it right away. What this one? That. The map's a map. I don't think he'll spot the difference. Now I just need to get Madison <laughs> a skull, and we'll be good to go. Can we take the... Take the whale? If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. Okay, we don't take it. In conclusion, shape up, or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass! All right, same time tomorrow, then. Dismissed. <laughs> I love when the 
get the progress done. There, me hearties, the fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course, but our top priority is the secret. <coughs> <coughs> Extra grog rations for everyone. Grog. Yes. Hey. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn. Reward. <laughs> Oops. What? I did not see that coming. I want to savor this, so I'm going to let you have the first jab. You're as rusty as that butter knife you call a sword. We're both still sharper than you. Okay. Decent comeback. Why don't you try again? You're all swagger and no dagger. I've got plenty of dagger. Blast! Oh. Uh. Hey, cheating! I won that round. Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do this. You don't seem to know how to use a sword. <laughs> I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster or more like a mop. Hey, I know that one! Oh, I've been practicing, huh? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like a mop? Like a conductor's baton! That's what I thought, too. I can't decide if you're waving your sword like a feather duster or more like a mop. Like a conductor's baton. I picture you as a kettle drum in this scenario. You get hit a lot. I assume you're no better at conducting an orchestra than you are at conducting sword play. Or metaphors. Hey! You're laying a comeback on my comeback? That's gotta be against the rules. You really should keep up on the latest trends. Good yeah. Hi, Freepwood. Oh. <laughs> he was better. Good thing I can still hold my breath for 10 minutes. More or less. Is it more, or is it less? What? You say you can hold your breath for 10 minutes, but then sometimes you say 8. One time, I heard you say 12. Which one is it? Well, in my prime, I could do 10 minutes, no problem. Are you in your prime in this story? 8 minutes. Now let me get back to it before the 8 minutes runs out. We don't have any good comebacks there at the last sword white fight. Six minute walk. Oh, nice. You have perfect time. Nothing here. Just this. Oh, finally. <laughs> At last! Hello, Monkey Island. It's me, Guybrush. Did you miss me? Your secret will be mine. Ten minutes. Tops. I just need to take a look at the map I stole from LeChuck. Let's look at the map. Okay. Begging your shirts at the red berry bush. Follow the stone monkey hand. Stick to the path by the wooden chicken. Sneak past the bees and heed the sign. X marks the spot. 
We need to find the red berry bush. Ah, it's a heart with L and E. Someone romantically carved into the tree. Which way we go? We're not able to go that way. Not able to go to the jungle. We could walk here. Bird in the jungle. Hey, Murray. Murray, is that you? Sorry about the cannon. Oh, it's just a creepy skull. Oh, I'll keep okay. this for my Shakespeare summer stock. Okay. Oh, Monkey Island. This is familiar. Can we go there? No. Check out the shipwreck. Check the red berry bush. Yeah. Trek Volcano Beach. Before we go there, we go that place and and we could explore the giant monkey head too. Murray, is that you? Sorry about flattening you. Oh, it's just a spooky skull. Okay. I'll keep this for Halloween. <laughs> we start collecting our skulls now. The rocks around here are treacherous. I have to be careful not to stub my toe. Well, the age-old battle of rock versus hull only ever ends one way. Ugh, this really puts the wreck in shipwreck. My sympathies to the unlucky captain. That's there. It says the sea monkey. Hey, oh. this is my old ship from Monkey Island 1. Yeah. Wow, the sea monkey brought me adventure and fame. Oh, I feel like this is a good omen. Either that, or this forgotten wreck of a ship discarded on the beach is highly symbolic. <laughs> Do we find anything here? Something that you need? Oh, I'd love to get the old girl running again. It'd be a great summer project. <laughs> yeah, summer project. Nothing much here. Let's go. That was a very nice memory lane. It's faded over the years, but it still says private property. Huh, Murray. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the things I said to you. Oh, it's just a rancid skull. I'll keep this for the voodoo lady. Yeah. Oh, they are here. It's them. It's them. I better just stay back and eavesdrop. Can't you just break the security? Taught you a good at this stuff. Keep talking and you'll find out how good I am. Any place, anywhere, any place. Why aren't we waiting in the jungle? Because I need to finish setting up the ritual here. You can go ahead if you want to. And leave you two to plan behind me back. Me don't think so. Three. Though truly it is I, Murray, and I alone who possess the cunning necessary to achieve victory. You keep out of it or I'm hiding your jawbone again. How come we have to do this right here? It's the best power spot on the island. Place gives me the creeps. And I don't creep easily. Hmm. Anything more? In case you were wondering about your reward for uncrushing me, you need not worry. When this is done, and I unleash my terrible wrath upon the world, your heads alone will be spared, and you may sit at my feet when all else has been reduced to ashes. Feet? The uh, figure of speech. I thought I told you to stop talking. I'm happy to recrush ya if you want. 
Uh, so as not to disrupt Lila's preparations, I shall for the moment remain silent. Silent, but deadly. Hmm. How much longer are we going to wait for LeChuck? Be patient. And what? How much longer are we oh, going to now wait they start for LeChuck? Repeating. Be patient. Be patient. Alright, let's go away. Let's go to the other side of the island. It's faded over the years, but it still says oh, private yeah, property. Yeah. You're not able to go there. There's a uh, the tribe living there. Is there anything that is gazeworthy? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is the start of the game. I knew it. The main menu. It's a sea salt encrusted skull. Splendid. Splendid. <laughs> Is there going to be Ciara? A joke. This is where I accidentally fell years ago when the ledge collapsed. Good times. <laughs> no, it don't have. Be funny if they have it there. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? We have the skull here. It's a weird looking skull. Oh, there's a lechak. Can we go there? Look like we can. No oh, skull. It's a soaked skull. Sensing pure evil here, more than what's reasonable for an ordinary sea creature. Okay, let, let him be. This whole tremendous ship is kind of a floating midlife crisis. Good to see what there is. Then we need to go to the berry bush. Ah, oh, we're looking up the ship, okay. That was a very strange angle. Okay. Now we have to be quiet. Let's go to see the our friend here. Hello! Drown him down with just me thoughts. Hello again. Again? I don't know you. I'd remember an ugly mug like yours. My mistake. See you later. Don't oh, wait. Hold oh, me joking. Hang about. <laughs> Maybe you can give me a hand. I'm a bit stuck. How did you get stuck on the rudder? I was just doing my job. Breaking in a new swab. That's not bad. Lob. Fob. Gob. Oh, gob. Gob could work. Anyway, let's just say that upper management took exception to my methods. Here I am. Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? There's nothing you need to know about. Go away. What's in the notebook? Is it a diary? Look, it, it, it's poems, all right? Zombie pirate poems, but, but they're not finished. I've got some problems to work out with them still. The new swab you mentioned, what was he like? Rising star? Diamond in the rough? A useless plank. I don't think he knows one end of the mop from the other. Also, 
He come down here, stole a knife I was keeping in my back, and left me stuck. Didn't even try to <laughs> help. Maybe if you'd been nicer to that swab, he'd have helped you. Not him. Sometimes you can just tell about people. <laughs> Did you ever think maybe you deserve to be left down here because you're a cruel bully with self-esteem issues? No. Okay. Maybe I could help you with your poetry? I've dangled a metaphor or two in my day. Well, I am stuck in a few places. For instance, what rhymes with worms? Verts. Charms. Scrims. Worms. Germs. Germs. Oh yeah, that could work. All right then. I also need an idea for something that grows. Grows. Maggots. Resentment? Roses? Roses? I think that fits. How about a rhyme for black? Black. Snack. Yak. Fanatic. Crack it. Orange. Black orange. Black snack. Snack. Right. Uh, of course. Very nice. Thanks a lot. Uh, I was a bit underwater there, but I think at least I can call the first volume wrapped up now. Hey. What do you want? Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? What? So you can steal them? Oh, I don't think so. Okay. Honestly, I have no idea why I'm even asking. <laughs> Bye. Your evening. Well, you're leaving without, without helping me. When I get out of here, I'm going to eat what little there is of your brain and use your broken ribs to pick my teeth. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's sneak up there. What Lechak is doing. Oh, what can we do? Let's look a little bit inside. So many fond, greasy memories. Oh. They've sealed it shut. Oh, cut them. Let's go move faster. You. Oopsie. Uh, hi. You're not welcome on this ship, Threepwood. <laughs> ah, damn. I'm not even a fan of live squid. They're eating the <laughs> squid. I'm not even a fan of live squid. What's here? That is gazeworthy. Yeah. Gazing. Uh, nothing else here. That is the beach. Let's go here. Yeah, what we have here? Monkey hat. Hey, it's pirate fly. You don't hear much about land pirates, but they're out there. Yeah. It's a big stone monkey part. I shudder to think about what part I might find next. Let's see the map. Making your search at the redberry bush. Follow the stone monkey hand. We follow that. And then what? There's chicken. Sundial. No, no. Stick to the path by the wooden chicken. Oh, there's an ants. Walk in there. Let's go there. Okay, <laughs> there's a lot of things here. And let's look again. She can sneak past the bees and Head to the sign. There. Secret. Secret. Let's pass it. 
Oh, is the we have a shaw wall here too. Oh, what an amazing stroke of luck! A free yeah. shovel to dig up the secret with. Free shaw wall. Oh yeah. What an amazing stroke of luck! A free shovel to dig up the secret with. Oh. Oh. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, That's of not LeChuck. Oh, the trap is for LeChuck. That explains the root beer. This clown won't know LeChuck's secrets. But I guess we could torture him anyway. Wait! I know plenty of LeChuck's secrets. Do you know LeChuck's theme song, his catchphrase, or his favorite food? <laughs> Why on earth would you care about any of that? Oh, this is going nowhere. We wouldn't even be in this bind if you'd let me kill him on melee. Don't start with me, Lila. Remember, it was me that intercepted the real map on its way to LeChuck in the first place. That's a blank piece of paper. It's encrypted. I can reveal it with a dark magic spell, but I have to have LeChuck's personal information to break the security. As part of the spell, we have to play his music, say his catchphrase, and eat his favorite food. Okay. <laughs> you could just ask, you just ask him? Oh, LeChuck is too powerful to face directly. This trap was supposed to catch him off guard so we could get the information out of him. And now we're out of root beer. <laughs> <laughs> I swallowed a lot. Maybe wait a half hour? Or I poke a <laughs> hole in you and it squirts out right away. We could ask his crew about all that stuff? We thought of that. But they are on the ship and it's enchanted to be unboardable. Only LeChuck and his crew can get on it. I'm not sure I was ever technically fired. I mean, I did wind up at the bottom of the ocean, but no one ever said the words, You're fired. You can get on the ship. Probably. Yeah. I mean, definitely. Yes. Fine. Here's the deal. You find out what we need to know. We decode the map and we split the secret four ways. That's the only offer and I won't make it again. In or out. Hmm. What are the alternatives? We kill you. I accept. <laughs> no way! You teamed up with Captain Madison? Well, they were planning to double-cross me, of course. My only option was to do it first. Double-cross them before they could double-cross me. Triple-cross. Dad. I'd get them what they needed to work the spell on the map, and then I'd find a way to steal it. Cool! Remember, it's his theme music, catchphrase, and favorite food. We're camped at the big monkey ahead if you need anything. Actually, there is one thing. Okay. The one thing that we're not able to go inside of that place. <sighs> what do we do? How we can get in? They've sealed it shut. Mm. So many fond, greasy memories. Thinking thoughts I really ought not. Hey. What do you want? Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? No. Whenever he's yelling, I get too distracted counting his teeth to pay attention. Got me in trouble a few times. Mm. Would you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? I've got better things to do than watch that guy eat. Do you know if LeChuck has a theme song? Does a screaming of his enemies count? I doubt it. Then no. Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? What? So you can steal them? Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Honestly, I have no idea why I'm even asking. It's not your secrets I'm interested in, after all. Enjoy your evening. Not likely. He is useless as always. Partner. 
Hey! Someone has a nice collection of colored glass bottles. Threepwood! I might have known you'd be wrapped up in this. It's just your kind of swamp. Yours too, it seems. I do like the moral black areas. How was your trip to Monkey Island? Damp. People kept dropping me into cauldrons of glop for some reason. But I'll have my revenge on all of them. Especially that withered zombie man on LeChuck's crew. Oh yeah, yeah, that's one. Are you getting a cut of the secret too? They've promised me your skeleton. Minus the head, of course. No, oh, that's nice. How is it that you're not flat anymore? What the... How did you know about that? Who've you been talking to? I've got <laughs> my eye on you, Threepwood. Uh, so to speak. Is it uncomfortable to be stuck on a pointy stake? I know an easy way you can find out. Now, stop bothering me. Oh, yeah. Is it uncomfortable to be stuck on a pointy stake? I know an easy way you can find out. Now, stop bothering me. Of course. I wonder if this arm bone has anything to do with anything. Well, let's take it. I have your friends here. There we go. There we have more. Yeah. You can have this here. And then we can put that there. And this few two few skulls also. That you there do. There we go. And then we put the bone. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? No. Yeah, I ran into some trouble boarding the ship. Is it the enchantment keeping you off? Good news! We get to kill him after all. No, that's not it. I lost my eye patch disguise, so the crew knows it's me, and they won't let me back on. You need to look like one of them. I know a good spell that can do that. I'll need a secret to build it on. Get me a physical object from one of the crew. Something they would keep hidden from the others. Okay, I'll see what I can come up with. Mm. Can I give this to you? No. Mm. <laughs> no. We have to give something to him. This to him, so you think he can't be? No. no. Chicken food? No. Please. No. Can I buy your notebook of poems? No. Ah. What's this? No. Can I have the key? No. Can I have this bow? It's very useful. No. Uh, what we else can hey. do? What do you want? Something, something, something from somewhere. I have to look again. The book. Find the secret of that job. Who, who might be a good candidate. Yep. You want to be able to talk to any of the crew on the Chuxi. Perhaps there's a crew member outside. Yes, there is. You have to find a way to get college notebook. Yeah, hell. Colette isn't willing to show you his poetry since he thinks you are steal it. How might you convince him? 
otherwise. How I do that? Perhaps Colette would like to get his poetry published in some sort of publication. You have to. S you have something in your inventory that might convince Colette that you can help publish his poetry. Show Colette the business card in your inventory. God damn it. Why it's so easy? I doesn't try that. Why I don't try that? Fraught by thoughts of staying caught. I've got a friend who edits a paper. He might be interested in your poetry. That, that'd be fantastic. But I'm a little inconvenienced at the moment. You know, stuck on the rudder and all that. <laughs> Maybe you could uh, show my work to your editor friend? I'd be happy to do that. Yes. And, uh, and, uh, let's just keep this a secret between us, if you don't mind. Hmm? Mum's the word until they're announced. Yeah. Let's read it. Gosh, Gullet, your poems. The only possible word is... Wow. Oh, uh, thanks very much. And now we go to the monkey head to give it to our teammates. Partner, did you bring something secret from one of the crew? Yes, I did. I did. Gullet was keeping this under wraps. Can you use it to make a disguise? Like chomping worms or colorful germs. I can see why someone would want to keep this a secret. It's drivel. It's perfect. Qui doloram ipsi, quia dolor si tamet. Ooh. Shh. sia comedo consequat. Exceptor sin docecat, quidetat non proident. Use the first poem to activate the disguise, and the last one to be yourself again. Fantastic! Yeah, Thanks! Fantastic. Keep us looped in on your progress. Yep, will do. See ya, partner. Whatever. I oh, mean, why? This can't be right. Isn't that a mock tree? <laughs> I didn't realize you were on a mock quest. Not since my college days. And then I was just experimenting. That's not important right now. Someone messed up, and I think I know who. Oh my god. We are of course going to change to be a Wally. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get get it ready. Like chomping worms or colorful germs, ideas fill my head. The poems flow as roses grow, creatively undead. Oh. Got to see Kali, of course. Got to see our friend. Hi. <laughs> What are you? <laughs> I am the specter of your doom. You should have been nicer to that swabby. Uh, you'll have to narrow it down a bit. Which swabby? The most recent one. The most recent one? It was a useless wet rag. Couldn't tell a mop from a stick. You're the specter of what now? Doom. Your doom, I think I mentioned. Well, it seems like you're a bit late. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a half-rotten zombie stuck underwater on a rudder. I think your job's done already. You can run along now. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi. Take your doom and get lost, all right? Okay. Go to your doom. Live happily there by sw swapping. Let's go there. Let's see what happened. Permission to come aboard? Go it. I thought we'd lost you. I'm still feeling the sting of your knife. I got the knife back, so you let me know if the feeling fades. Your voice sounds funny. Uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> still a few quarts of seawater in the lungs, I guess. I guess. Anyway, welcome back to the ship. Do me a favor and guard this spot until the Chuck and Iron Rose get back. I've almost finished the piece I was working on, and I want to get back to it. Now, I promise I'll give it my utmost attention. I won't let you down. What? Nothing. <laughs> you just seem different. Don't let anybody on board or I'll stab you again. No. <laughs> no, let's go. How are you doing? Hey, Bob. Hey, Gullet. You smell cleaner than usual. Thanks. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? I'm uh, trying to be more like him. Well, then you should change your catchphrase every few minutes. I have no idea how he keeps track. Okay. Do you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? No, but Putra probably does, seeing as how she's the cook and all. Yeah. Right. Chef. Does LeChuck have a theme song? I'm planning a surprise. Surprising LeChuck doesn't sound like a good idea. But he did say something recently about having a theme composed. I don't know if it was ever finished. Hmm. Uh, let's go up there. Oh, he's sleeping. These things get more sophisticated every year. Hey, I can see all the way to the giant monkey head. Madison, Lila, and Trent are all talking. They look happy, planning what to do when they're finished with me, no doubt. Well, I'll have the last laugh. Ha! Uh, what are you doing? I wouldn't want to wake him up. Yeah, go away. In here? Oh, the cannon, go away. We could talk about we hit her. How's the score coming along? The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. Go back and guard the ship like I told you. Fine. Go, lad, you tough old slab of crocodile meat. Somehow I knew you'd make it back. Can I fix you something to eat? Oh, I'll have whatever LeChuck's having. LeChuck's on the island, looking for the big secret. You cook for LeChuck. Does he have a favorite dish? Don't tease me by trying to take an interest. You've never had the slightest appreciation for my talents. You think I just sling hash. You're the best chef I've ever known. Chef? You called me chef? In all the years you've known me, you've never done that before. I don't know what happened while you were overboard, but... I like this change in you. Uh, what was it you wanted to know about? Uh -huh. The Chuck's favorite food. Well, that's easy. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Yeah. Don't blame me. It's not my favorite food. Are we almost to the part about the triple cross? Not quite. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Ah, uh, a classic. Can you make me some tentacles with daisy sauce? Sorry, I'm all out of the main ingredient. Oh, Shane. What's that thing the Chuck always says? It's sort of his catchphrase. You're a terrible cook, Putra. Well, I, I was thinking more of something he'd use in all kinds of situations. Then I've got no idea. Do you happen to know LeChuck's theme song? I don't know. Flair's the composer. I think she's on deck duty right now. No. I mean, yes. Uh, sure she is. Well, I've got work to do. Right. Oh, These open here. plan offices are all the rage now. It's this? LeChuck's personal diary. I wouldn't have pegged him as the type for self-reflection. 
Aha. Okay. There's a lot of reading there. I keep reading Lechak's diary and I come back to you later, next episode. Hope you enjoy. Remember, like and subscribe and follow or something. You know what to do. Have a good one. Bye bye.